Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and today we're going to look at cleaning and restoring an antique solid silver picture frame. Stay tuned. Okay, just quickly before we get going guys, if you love antiques, collectibles, you're in the reseller business, then don't forget to subscribe because my channel's all about how-to videos. I go out buying antiques and I show you what everything's worth and how to identify it. So state your claim guys, make sure you subscribe. If the videos help you and you like them, I would really appreciate a like and a share to help me keep creating videos. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so <clears throat> I went down to Splot Market and I bought this picture frame. Now it is solid silver. You can just about see the stamps there for the hallmarks. There's no glass and it is absolutely minging. So the first thing we're gonna do is get the back off and we're gonna give it a clean. Now to clean it, it's very simple. Um, you've gotta be very careful with silver because it's very, very soft. So I'm using Goddard's silver foam on a sponge and it's a very soft sponge and it doesn't actually rub the silver away because silver can be worn away with cleaning. Uh, with some solid silver you can clean it by putting it into soda crystals and hot water on a metal tray and it'll clean itself but with this because of the backing this velvet and card backing you can't do it so this has to be cleaned by hand so very simple put a bit of this uh, foam onto sponge and gently just start rubbing away it is as easy as this. It's going to be a slow process, so I'll probably time lapse the video. I'll do a little section by in front of you now, and then you can uh, fast forward the video so you can see it being done. Tissue to wipe it off. It's just very quickly, you can see the difference already between here and here, and this is not going to damage the silver. Not one bit. So I'm going to get through this now. Uh, so stay tuned, and you'll see the finished article in just a minute. Okay, so. You can clearly see the difference already between them. I've got a very soft toothbrush here to get in the cracks. Just put a bit of the powder on and to get in the pieces that I can't reach with the brush. Because this is a repoussé uh, style mirror, it's been pressed out. Um, I can't get into all the cracks and creases of the mirror. All this is, guys, that you see me popping down to is just a bowl with clean water to keep the sponge and the toothbrush clean. It's nothing special down there, it's just water to clean the sponge and that, okay? So if you see me popping down there, that's all it is to clean the sponge and clean my toothbrush. There's no pressure needed, guys, it is simply just running the sponge over the top.
So, that is pretty much ready for cleaning off. That should be all the gunk done, all the black off the mirror. Because as we know, silver goes black, so let's just clean the paste off. And then we'll wipe it down. Simple roller kitchen roll and gently dry it, guys. The reason I done it on kitchen towel is because any spillage, rather than soaking into the velvet on the back, will be soaked up by the uh, kitchen towel. Now, I don't know if I told you this picture frame actually came in a car boot sale in Splot Market in Cardiff about two weeks ago for £20. In a mess, in a job lot on the floor. But for £20, it's a lot of frame here. And as you can see, it is coming absolutely beautiful. Look at the difference. Okay, now you can buy that Goddard's foam on eBay, Amazon, or any good jeweler, and it's less than a fiver for a tub. And you can see there the difference. Look at that, that looks absolutely spectacular. But we still have the problem of no glass. Now, I'm gonna splice in at the end a picture of the photograph shop in Mount Dinash, my local photograph shop because he's just cut the glass for me and he didn't charge me a penny so anybody local in the area I suggest you use him because he's very fair on his prices and does an absolutely amazing job uh, his name is Wayne and at the end of the video will be a photograph of the shop front and the address will be in the description now he's just cut me a piece of glass you can see they still got the ink marks literally drew the marks, run the glass cutter over it, and it literally took him seconds. And he was very kind, because I'm a shop owner in the town, he didn't charge me. So I simply just place the glass into the frame, keeping hold of it, because it's uh, held in place by the uh, backboard. I've actually, even though I used the kitchen cloth to uh, clean this, I've still got a bit of the residue on the back of the velvet, as you can see here. So I'm gonna have to give it a bit of a wash in a minute. But there we have beautifully restored and cleaned solid silver picture frame for 20 pounds. The glass normally would probably cost you three to five pounds, something like that, to have a piece of glass cut. Um, but a solid silver frame like this, well, I'll show you some eBay prices now in just a second. As you can see there, you can clearly read the hallmarks now where you couldn't before. Fully hallmarked in Birmingham. No, it's not. Sheffield, sorry. I need my eyeglass. And absolutely stunning. What a beautiful, beautiful piece of, uh, well, antique. Have a look at these prices now, guys. Okay, just before I show you the prices quickly, I've given it all a good clean now. I've washed all the back of the velvet with just a clean sponge with no fairy, no nothing, just plain water on a sponge, soft sponge. And as you can see, that's come up beautiful. All the bits of markings now have come off. The silver is beautifully cleaned, glass cleaned. That's ready now to take a picture for 20 quid. What a steal. Have a look at these. Okay guys, firstly before I show you values of silver frames, um, there's the maker's mark that's on mine which is JB Limited. So mine was made by John Bull Limited and if I come across, well before I go any further, the site I've used is www.silvermakersmarks.co.uk and if I come across you on the same website and come to date letter O, there is mine 1988. 
So we know now mine's made in 1988 by the uh, maker there of John Bull Limited. Now, if you come and look at eBay on sold prices on picture frames, they depend on where you go, they're stupid money. Now, UK sales, 250, 500, 200. Now, bearing in mind, these are 1903, so these are 85 years and 100 years earlier. But they're not all earlier. If I come across here, sold prices on eBay, eBay for a new 99, well, 100 pound. Another one there, used. Hundred pounds, hundred pounds again underneath, ninety-five pounds, and look at the sizes: eight by six. Um, that one's a nine-inch. Now the one I got is a large frame. This one was a seven by five. So you're talking very small frames for this money. So you can see the value there in restoring and cleaning this frame.